Hi, I'm Jesse Lingard and I'll be answering some of your questions today. Get out of here! It feels amazing. Um, obviously it's been a long two years out, but I'm glad I'm back with the boys. They've all welcomed me with open arms and it was an enjoyable game yesterday. It was great to be, to be back on the pitch and putting the England shirt on. You know, it's always just a true honour and hopefully I can kick on now and, and carry on my form. Favourite song to listen to for a game? <laughs> Very good question. Um, my favourite song to listen to before a game at the moment would be Lemon Pepper Freestyle, Drake and Rick Ross. Why, 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 why? Tell me. Wait, is, it, is that what it's called? I'd say my first England goal will always be special, but I think the Panama goal um, in the World Cup, I think that's that's up there with, with probably one of the best goals I've scored. And, you know, to score a World Cup was, was an amazing feeling. Does pineapple belong on pizza? Hmm. For me, no, not one bit. For me, I just go straight plain, cheese and tomato, medium, stuffed crust, standard. <laughs> <laughs> pineapple on pizza, get out of here. Yeah, I'm really pleased. Like I say, I just wanted regular football and you know, when I play week in, week out, you know, it builds confidence and obviously I've been, you know, scoring goals and, and assisting to, to help my team and, you know, it's been amazing and, like I say, I just want to carry on that, that run of form now. Now, a lot of people have been going on about, have you tried pie and mash? Have you tried pie and mash with the liquor? And unfortunately, I've not tried it yet, but I think as soon as international break is done, I'm going back to West Ham and I'll be having pie, mash and liquor and I'll let you know my thoughts on that. Favourite celebration in my career would be probably either the Millie Rock or the Moonwalk, but I think the Moonwalk just, just pips it. Wow! <laughs> my favourite subject in school would be PE, of course. But we got made to do, obviously, all the other lessons, and I encourage every student out there that goes to school to stick to your schoolwork, as you know. Nothing in life is guaranteed, so for us as footballers, um, we had to get our school education working, and in case we didn't make us a footballer, we had something to fall back on. Ah! Those deck player rice, light rice. <laughs> I give you three guesses of what he had for lunch today. <laughs> and one of them was rice. I always call him rice and peas, but it's just a little bit of banner between me and deck. He's working on his drumming now, but he's my boy, and he's cool. Man like deck, you know? I follow my daughter, she sends me nice little videos before, before the games and you know, wishing me good luck and you know, I do everything for her and my family, so yeah, that's my biggest motivation. All I'm saying is, something's in the pipeline, it wasn't sunny, it was night time. There could be potentially a part two, but you'll have to keep your eyes and ears open. Carl Walker, um, he said he's been in German celebrations. John Stone has seen his moves in the changing room. Deck, if he works on his drumming skills, and I'll probably say Harry Maguire, so he can be the backup dancer for me. <laughs> I think they're the best moments um, of your life playing football as a kid, whether it be in school, whether it be you know with your mates outside of football, or you know even at the academy. You know they're the special moments that you can always never forget. So first of all, I'm gonna go for the double chicken wrap with uh, peronese on it and halloumi. Then I'm gonna have peri chips, peronese, five hot wings and some peronese on the side. You get me? Double chicken and some peronese on the side. <laughs> <laughs> on the side. 